Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to be taking a look at the RAD Linear Gauge. RAD Linear Gauge is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight and WPF, .NET, and XAML development. In looking at the RAD Linear Gauge, we're going to look at how you create a gauge, how you add an indicator to that gauge, and how you set the value for that indicator. To get started, let's create a new project. We'll call it RAD Vertical Linear Gauge. Say OK, accept it as a Silverlight 5 application, and add data visualization and the dependency references to our application. Let's come down and add a RAD Vertical Linear Gauge. Set its width to 100 and its height to 200. Within the RAD Vertical Linear Gauge, the very first thing that we want to do is to set the linear scale. We'll set a minimum and maximum. We'll set the minimum to zero and the maximum for this demonstration to 20. The next thing that we want to do is tell it where this gauge is relative, where the scale is relative to the gauge itself on a scale of zero to one. So we're going to say that the relative height is one, which will have it take up the entire available space. We also need to tell it where on the Y scale we want to begin. So we're going to say the relative Y is zero. And now we're going to set the width of the middle tick and the width of the other ticks on the scale. The middle tick will be 0 0.05. The minor ticks will be at 0 0.003. We also set the height of the minor ticks also at 0 0.003. With that in place, we have our scale within our gauge. We can run that to see how the scale sits within the gauge, but at the moment we have no indicator. Let's go back to the code, make a little bit of room, and within the linear scale, we're going to ask the linear scale for its indicators, and within the indicator, we're going to add a marker, and we have some attributes that we want to add to that marker. For example, rotate for vertical will be set true. The default is for the linear scale to be horizontal. And then we'll set some attributes on scale object within the marker. For example, the relative width, the relative height, and the location, which we will set at over center. That's the location, as you can see, is an enumerated value, and we're going to choose over center. Let's take a look at what that looks like when we run it. And you can see the marker is directly over the center, pointing at zero at the moment. So let's go back and fix that and give that a value. We want to put the value into the marker, and let's set the value equal to five, and run the application and see what that looks like. And you can see the marker is now pointing directly to five on our scale of zero to 20. I hope you've seen how easy it is to create a linear scale. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. I look forward to talking with you soon and hope that you will stay tuned for more in the series on Telerik gauges.